Barnsley, once the heart of Yorkshire's coal industry. But the pits and jobs that went with them are long gone. And now the town is on the verge of a new start. The centre is being rebuilt and many of its new buildings will have hot water and heating provided not by coal or gas, but wood chip burning boilers. It's the council who have taken the initiative and made Barnsley the country's leader in biomass technology. Council building services and energy departments aren't often the architects of innovation, but in Barnsley they've managed to create a thriving biomass economy. We had a classic chicken and egg situation. People wouldn't put biomass boilers in if there was no guarantee they could get the fuel for them. Then again, what company is going to set up manufacturing biomass fuel when there are no boilers for it to serve? So we had to do something to break that circle. We decided to opt to install biomass boilers and effectively call the bluff of the marketplace. Here's where it all started, Sheffield Road Flats. A year ago, this social housing complex needed a replacement heating system. This was the opportunity for Dick's team to show that biomass was a cheaper and greener answer for the council's energy needs. They took out the coal burning equipment and installed two of the latest Austrian wood chip boilers. Well, here we have two boilers of different sizes, 150 kilowatts. The new carbon neutral system wins on all counts. It's more efficient than coal, a quarter of the price of gas, and it's almost maintenance free. Upstairs, the residents have the same service as before, only without the noise and dirt that came with coal. I mean, at one time you had to dust every day oh. when it were cold. Actually, it were horrendous. Because mm. we live underneath the chimney, off. you know, mm. and uh, or you used to settle on verandas, you know, or you used to sweep it up and <laughs> put it in yeah. the bucket. Yeah. And with a new smart car payment system, they're spending about half as much on hot water. For those who may be sceptical that biomass heating for communities isn't feasible, well, this is living proof it is. But none of this could have happened without a steady supply of wood chip. The city is surrounded by woodland and Silver Power was a new company trying to make a business of turning wood cuttings into fuel. Working hand in hand with Barnsley Council, they were able to get funding to scale up the operation enough to supply Sheffield Flats and more. Now they're the area's first significant wood chip supplier. There's a great future for it. We're getting a lot of inquiries, potential uh, biomass installations. And uh, obviously the other councils, Doncaster Councils and, and Rotherham Council, hopefully they'll be coming on, on board soon as well. There's also a great opportunity to develop the whole industry, new markets for tree surgeons and people managing woodlands and that kind of thing. On the back of this, Barnsley Council have committed to biomass in all new developments and refurbishments, unless other fuels can be proved cheaper. And the next step for the borough is a development at Smithies Lane, a service depot employing 450 people. This is a new 500 kilowatt wood burning boiler, which will be powered from wood chip, which will be made from this material, which we've harvested around the borough. And in this storage shed that we're constructing behind me, we will hold something like 700 tonnes of wood chips, which will then dry naturally, and in so doing, allow us to get more useful heat out of one tonne of material. This site effectively closes the supply loop. This single fuel depot will power not just the new boiler, but the entire borough's present and future biomass installations. Like this one. In six months time, this will be the wood chip storage bunker for the largest biomass project yet in the new council office headquarters. There's even a plan to link up and supply hot water to storage vessels in the library and town hall when the headquarters is empty at night. And there's more in the pipeline all over the borough. By increasing efficiency and using this renewable power source, Barnsley has already achieved a 40% reduction in CO2 emissions from 1990 levels and looks like beating the 60% mark by 2010, 40 years ahead of government targets. How would this local authority spend an Ashton Prize? We've committed ourselves to set up a 
number of pilot trials using various sustainable technologies to demonstrate to the public at large and to businesses within the community that alternative technologies are nothing to be feared, something indeed to be grasped with both hands. They are economic, they can be made to work, and they are beneficial not only for business today, but obviously for the environment and the world to come.